softened cream cheese. Just give that a little bit of a stir there. Uh, two 12 ounce cans of store-bought chicken, or you can debone one rotisserie chicken. Where we're gonna go from here is a half a cup of ranch dressing. If you like blue cheese dressing, you can use that instead. So just stir that up until it's well incorporated. Next thing that goes in, half a cup of Frank's Red Hot. That is the traditional wing sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add about a half a cup shredded cheddar. Two 12 ounce cans of chicken, make sure you drain them. That's about six slices of crispy cooked bacon that I just chopped up. I'm gonna put this into a pie plate, put it into any baking dish that you like. If you double this up, you can put it in a nine by 13 casserole dish if you're feeding a crowd. Bread it in there. And then I am gonna to top this with some mozzarella cheese. You can use cheddar, you can use blue cheese, you can do whatever you want on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and use some mozzarella. And that's just gonna make it have a really nice topping. So off we go into a 350 degree preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's hot and bubbly. When, when it's ready, we'll come back. There we go. Um, um, I think it's going to be really good on Triscuits. I would put out celery sticks, that type of thing. You can also give this a sprinkling of uh, cayenne pepper or paprika. So there you have it. It's a buffalo chicken dip that we've added bacon to. Hot and fresh and ready for you to serve to your guests. Super Bowl Sunday or anytime. and we're gonna go ahead and put our hot Reuben dip together. This is delicious, it's simple, and it's not very, doesn't take a very long time to make. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And what I have in my casserole dish here, you can use any kind of dish you want, use a foil pan. I have one pound of sauerkraut. I prefer the refrigerated variety of sauerkraut. It has been drained. If you're gonna use canned sauerkraut, you're gonna need two small cans that you drain completely and that means you put it in a colander and you give it a little bit of a squeeze so that a lot of that excess moisture comes out. You're gonna need one cup of Thousand Island dressing. I have about one pound of good quality deli corned beef that I had them slice very very thin. I had them slice it on a one at my deli and it all, almost shaved it. And if you can get your meat shaved, that's the best way to do it. And then I put it on the cutting board and I just cut it into strips. And finally, I have about six slices of baby Swiss cheese that I got from the deli. Um, so it's about a quarter of a pound. So this is super easy to make. You've got your sauerkraut down here in the bottom of your casserole dish. And you're gonna take your Thousand Island. You can also use Russian dressing if you prefer. I'm going to use, I'm going to leave back about that much, about a quarter of a cup. And I'm just going to get in here with my spoon. Then we're going to layer in our meat. And then layer your cheese on top. And then we're going to just set this dressing off to the side. And we're going to use that after it comes out of the oven. And it goes 350 degrees for 20 minutes. We'll be back when it's time to take it out. Now that we have let this sit for about 10 minutes, to you know, come down from its piping hotness. I'm just gonna take the reserved amount of this um, Thousand Island dressing and I'm gonna just put it on top. And that way, you've got some nice fresh dressing there. And now we're gonna taste it. You can put whatever you want out, of course. I've got some rye crisp crackers. These are uh, Wassa hearty rye toasts and some cocktail rye bread that is seedless. You get your party knife or your spreader and just come in and put it on some rye bread. It's like a little Reuben sandwich. Oh, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is an excellent hot dip to serve at your next party and um, you can serve it with whatever you like. get started this uh, cheesy pizza dip is super easy to put together and everybody's gonna love it we start with a brick of softened cream cheese I'm going to probably use about two cups of grated mozzarella I'm gonna use about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese I'm gonna use this is a small jar of my favorite pizza sauce you can use whatever kind you like or you can use your favorite jarred pasta sauce it doesn't even matter and I have about a cup of uh, pepperoni that I sliced up and I frizzled and if you don't know what that means, it means I threw it in a hot cast iron skillet to kind of render some of the fat out of it. There's already going to be enough fat in here. We don't need an oil slick of pepperoni grease on the top of our dip. 
this is going to help alleviate that. And it gives the pepperoni a little crispness and it develops its flavor just a little bit before you pop it in the oven. Mm -hmm. So this is super easy. What we're going to do is we're going to take our cream cheese and we're just going to spread it in the bottom of this pie plate. I'm going to put about a half a cup of shredded cheese on top of that cream cheese. And then I'm going to take my pizza sauce and I'm going to put it right there. Spread it around on top of that cheese. And I'm going to use my parm. Use as much or as little as you like. I'm going to use about a half a cup. And then I'm going to put more mozzarella. And then I'm going to top it with my pepperoni. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with my favorite pizza seasoning. Is we're going to pop this in a 400 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes just until it's beautiful and bubbly and then when it comes out we're going to serve that with these crostini that I made with some homemade Italian bread that I just brushed with olive oil sprinkled with onion powder garlic powder and some more of that pizza seasoning and there you go our finished pizza cheesy pizza dip and then you just serve it with um with garlic toast and look at that is that not gorgeous that's how you make a bubbly hot cheesy pizza dip. I hope that you try it. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.